Hey everyone, so today's video is the last video in my School Blitz series and it's going to be all about my agenda and how I organize it and my tips and tricks that I kind of discovered throughout the years with having an agenda back in school. And when I was in college, I kind of discovered my love for agendas and I was absolutely attached to my agenda. It went everywhere with me. I found that it was the easiest way to keep my life really organized and kind of right at the tip of my fingers like I felt very sane when my agenda was very organized so um, it kind of took me a little while to figure out my system with my agenda before I really got it exactly how I wanted it so I figured a little video with organization kind of organization tips on how I you know organize and keep track of everything in my agenda would be useful for you guys. I actually just did like a little mock-up. So this is just an example of what it would have looked like when I was back at school. This isn't the agenda I'm using currently because um, my agenda now looks a lot different than it would have back in school. And since this is a school glitz organization video, I figured it would make more sense to have an agenda that it would have looked like back in college so I can show you guys. Cause I'm not in class anymore, so it's a little bit different. but. I did a little mock-up of what it would have looked like in college with the same colors that I used for everything back then. So basically I just would color code everything and my month to month, which you know is the monthly, like this is August, was my most important thing. It was the one that I would keep probably the most organized and I would white out things if dates changed and redo it because this was like my this is what I would check if like I was trying to make plans for something, I would check this to see what I had available before I would check the day by days. This is this year's agenda. This is the Jonathan Adler agenda from Glitzy Glam. So in purple, I would always have school dates. So I have like August 15th school starts. Down here I have like logic class canceled. A lot of times professors will kind of give you a syllabus at the beginning of the year with certain dates that they maybe are already blocking out if they have certain personal things that day. So I would go through my entire agenda at the very beginning of the year and I would write out every single class block like if there was a class that was going to be canceled that day I would go ahead and write it in in purple so purple was always like and sometimes professors would like switch your class time if something was going on so anything class schedule related I would do in purple in green I would have school assignments so any exams midterms finals if I had a public speech I had to do I did a lot of public speaking classes or a debate that you'd have to do or study tables a lot of times your sorority would require study tables or if I just had like a meeting at the library that I would was going to go to if I kind of blocked out time in my schedule to do a lot of studying at the library. All of school related things would be in green. So for instance, I have like logic exam, I have afternoon meeting at library, over here study tables and public speech. I would put stickers on different dates just to decorate it, just to have fun with it, you know? And that's another reason why I would do all the different colored pens because I felt like it would just give me it just adds that girliness that makes you want to organize it. And that's the trick is making it to where you actually want to open up your agenda every day and figure out what you have due to keep your life really organized. In turquoise, I just have my videos. So junior and senior year, I was starting to add my videos into my agenda. If I had videos I wanted to upload on certain days. So as an example, I just have in turquoise upload literature right there. But I actually didn't have a job in college. If you did have a job, I would delegate blue to your work thing, your work schedule you can put in there as well. And then let's see what other colors. Pink is my sorority things. So both like, you know, parties like mixer here. What is that? Social there. And then like if you had a sisterhood event, like right here, sisterhood night, chapter on Sunday nights, we had our weekly sorority meeting was called chapter and it was every Sunday at seven. And then orange is the last color and orange is basically anything social, like outside of classes, outside of work, that's not related to my sorority. So if you're not in a sorority, you could just have one color for like all your social events. But I have, for instance, like shopping day with Brittany, dinner day, school supply shopping, last night with friends, move back to school, just things like that in orange, like. Last day with friends, sad face, move back to school, happy face. I was always so happy to go back to college. And then just, you know, like dinner date, shopping day with Brittany, just like different things in orange. And, you know, these by the end of the month would get like this month to month would get really full. But I liked it because this was what I would turn to if I was trying to fit something in. If, if I was in a class and I was working on a group project and they were like, we need to meet someday this week, when are you free? You can just whip open this instead of flipping through your day by days and be like, okay, this week I have you know an exam here, I have a social here, I could miss the social, but if we could meet this night or this night, it would be better. 
calendar, that sort of thing. It just keeps you more organized. And I'm getting so excited talking about agendas. I feel kind of silly. And also I would have this tab up here. Um, and I'd have one that would open up to the month by month. And then I would have the second open up to whatever the day by day was at the moment. Um, which I'll show you guys my organization of that in a second. These tabs are part of the Lily Pulitzer Stuck on You. This is from Glitzy Glam as well. And when you open it, these are the little tabs and then it has all these little sticky post-it notes too that I use to organize my agenda. And we have these in lots of different colors, but if you just have regular post-it notes, that works too. This is what I had. I think it's kind of cute. But that's what these little tabs and these little post-its are. So this is what my day-by-day -day would look like. I actually would use my day-by-day -day spots as a to-do list every single day because I'm a big to-do list person I felt like if I had a list of everything I had to complete that day I was much more likely to get everything done than if I just tried to like float through the day and there were some days where I would just wake up kind of on the wrong side of the bed and I just wouldn't want to be organized I'd want to be bad that day and not do a to-do list and most of the time I would end up being really unproductive that day so I did try to do to-do list a lot this is an example of what a day would look like um, I would make little boxes and then I would write out times and what I had to do. So I have like 8 to 10 a.m. logic class, 10.30 to 1.15 public speaking class, 1.30 to 2.30 lunch, 2.30 to 5 library, 5 to 6 film August favorites. I'd always put my filming schedule in there too. 6.30 a Kyo meeting, 8 o'clock dinner with Brittany and Sam. And then one trick is I wouldn't always have room for my entire to-do list on the day because it ends right there. I would actually get a post-it note and continue. So if there were more things I needed to write than there was room on my list. Some days there weren't. Some days I didn't have as much to do, but I would just continue it down here. So I have 9.30 upload and workout, 10.30 practice my speech for the next day, and 11.30 bedtime. And the next day when I would need to get to this section of the agenda, I would just peel the sticky note off and put it above the day that it was on. And it's funny because whenever I look through my old college agendas, it's just speckled with post-it notes, like on each day. And I would just keep it on there just so I could keep track of things. And that's crooked and that's gonna drive me crazy. So I would just, you know, stick it on there and leave it on there and then go on with my next day. Also, if I had like little reminders that I would wanna remind myself of throughout the day, I would write it on little post-its and stick it just on the next page just to have like see it throughout the day. So like this one says reminder, bring flashcards to class tomorrow. And then this one says tell B about AKO sisterhood. So I'd be like remind Brittany of something. And then at the bottom it says call Blair. Like if I had something I had to tell her. Just like little reminder things that I would need to do. And then at night when I was kind of going through my final checklist because I would check off as I was going and then at night when I was at home kind of doing my homework and when I was getting ready for bed and I was making sure everything was done for the day I could read through these and you know do whatever it was telling me to do and then peel it off and like throw it away if you wanted. I didn't always keep these because they were just more reminder things as opposed to actual parts of my day which I would always keep because if I ever needed to go back and look at something I just felt like it was convenient to have it you know, right at the tip of my fingers. And this agenda is nice because it has like a little pocket in the front. The pens, this is like, you know, personal preference. This is a little pouch from Glitzy Glam too, like a little pencil pouch. We actually just got these and I think they're really cute, but I had a very specific preference of pens. I had one type that I liked and they're these. It's the Pentel RSVP in medium, like the medium points. This is what it looks like. And you can get packs of them that come with lots. Like I got one pack that came with all of these colors. So all the colors I used plus black, I didn't use black. And I didn't use this, I didn't use red. But I used all five of these colors. And all of these came for like a couple of dollars from Target. A lot of times if you see these pens, they'll actually come in fine point and I don't like them as much. I don't think they write as well. I like the medium, but one thing about these pens that drives me crazy is every single pack, there will be one pen that doesn't work very well. And for me, it was the blue. For some reason, the blue just, and I found it with every pack of these pens, there's one that just doesn't work as well. It's very, very frustrating. But anyway, these are my favorite pens. I just thought you guys would be curious. I don't know. Um, and I loved that they came with all the colors and I would always lose them very quickly, but then I'd have to go get more because I wouldn't want to mess up my system with my different colors on my agenda. I think my agenda is what kept me so organized and motivated in school and really helped me succeed academically in school. So I think it's so important to get in a good system and a good routine with your agenda from the very beginning of the year because I found it very addictive. As soon as I really kept keeping track of everything in my agenda, it just became part of 
my everyday routine. My to-do list was fun to do in the mornings. I would always do it like in my first class. I would do the whole day agenda or the whole day to-do list and I just felt like it just kept each day like I would have a project for each day and I would feel accomplished at night when I was going to bed. If I was having like a bad day or something, I would write it on my day to day. Like say on this day, you know, I'm going through my to-do list and all of a sudden I get in a fight with a friend or a fight with a boy or something happens that is like important for that day, I would write it on the side in a different color pen, like somewhere, like a little bubble. And so I feel like it also like doubled as my diary a little bit. I can like go back and know exactly how I was feeling that day. And I would also draw Booga, my little elephant, everywhere. I'll draw him for you guys so you guys can see. I would draw Booga on like every other page of my agenda. And when I go back and look at it, it's so funny because he's everywhere. Sometimes when I'm doing the meet and greets too, I'll draw him for some of you girls. This is Booga the elephant. He's the only thing that I know how to draw and I draw him on everything. He was all over my agenda. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope some of you guys maybe will be inspired to start an agenda. Honestly, I cannot recommend it more. I absolutely was attached to my agenda. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this entire series. I will link every single School Glitz video below if you guys missed any of them. And I will see you guys later.